Welcome to the Grameen webinar series. Uh, we are live broadcasting from Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory in this beautiful spring day. Um, my name is Marcela Careitello Ruiz and I am the project coordinator for the Grameen database. Um, you may be familiar if uh, you are joining us today. Uh, Grameen is an online resource uh, for comparative analysis and visualization of plant data. This session is going to aim to provide you with an overview of the new data collections and software developments in Grameen. For other issues um, to go stepwise uh, to the uh, different procedures uh, of the functionalities of Grameen, I will uh, remind you uh, that we have a video tutorial collection in the Grameen YouTube channel. Uh, you can get to this channel if you go to our outreach page and also uh, we place uh, the slides for our webinar in our FTP. So we are being recorded, our, our video tutorial will uh, uh, soon uh, appear in this page and our slides will be also be provided to you. Um, I am going to focus this session on show you uh, more what's new rather than, uh, than uh, than repeating what, what we have shown in, in the video tutorials. Uh, I will start with the, our new front page that should be re uh, released next week um, as a direct entry point to uh, our new search and a continued access for genomes portal, pathway portal, analysis tools and our track hubs. I'm going to make a parenthesis on the track hubs. Um, I will review some of the views and functionalities of the powerful search engine I will touch um, on the plant reactome interface that we covered in last uh, month's webinar. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to um, uh, summarize what's new and uh, what data is new and what has been updated. So um, what you will notice is that uh, our, uh, in our search is now um, a, a point of integration of the main type of data that we host at Grameen. We have a genomes portal and a pathways portal. We are also bringing in expression data set from the Expression Atlas uh, project uh, from EBI. This is currently our homepage and you can see our search uh, box is quite small. And what we, what we want is an easy way for our users to access, uh, to find the information they want from the website. So we have enlarged uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, search box and as well as provide with icons of uh, common uh, use tools, uh, including a new uh, track hub registry, which is um, a, central, a centralized collection of publicly accessible genome data. So, uh, co uh, so far we have uh, made more than 900 public RNA seq studies, and this means um, over 16,000 tracks across 35 plant species uh, accessible through this track hub registry. I will proceed to demonstrate a few of the new search features from our um, future homepage. Currently, if you want to access uh, to, this, uh, to this version of our search, you will need to type uh, the apps uh, preceding Grameen.org. And but for, uh, hopefully uh, after next week, you, will, you won't be able to do that. Uh, oh, by the way, you, you can get rid of our uh, description because it uh, takes a lot of space by uh, clicking on that arrow. And uh, in after next week, you'll be able to see this uh, homepage uh, just simply typing www.gramin.org. So you can see uh, still our prominent, prominently our genome browsers and our pathway browser uh, through the plant reactome and uh, uh, the track hope registry that I will cover uh, in a few more slides. It's over here with some other uh, tools and, and important um, links and features. So, uh, as you can see uh, on the search box, you are going to be able to type any um, gene ID, gene name, uh, species, pathway, ontology terms, uh, uh, protein domains, um, and other keywords to identify, uh, to find the information that you want. 
uh, this little uh, question mark uh, will uh, display uh, uh, some of the, 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 the things that you can expect from this, uh, from this interface. You, the, the moment you start typing, just as uh, other uh, uh, interfaces like Amazon, you will be given suggestions. Uh, we, uh, uh, following that, uh, your, your uh, results uh, will be visualized, uh, distributed across uh, the genomes, across all 44 genomes in the Grameen um, database. And finally, you're going to be offered with a gene-focused uh, view concisely for uh, things like um, genomic location, uh, expression, uh, homology, pathways, and cross-references. And I will demo these. So in this example, I am typing the, word, uh, the letters ABA for abs um, abscistic. So, and I'm gonna, uh, you will see that um, the suggested terms uh, with, uh, by the string ABA are grouped by category with the number of matching genes displayed next to each term. I'm gonna choose abscistic acid ABA mediated signaling from the plant reactome now. And these are my results. Uh, this is the number of genes in each of the species, um, group on the left. Uh, but you can see that there are 93 genes in, uh, distributed across 37 genomes. So I would like to uh, reduce, to filter out uh, the, the, uh, the species that I'm interested in. So I do that by clicking here and selecting maize and arabidopsis. And now I have that out of those 35 genes, I have two genes two genomes, and there are four genes, two in each. So I, uh, you can see the panels that I mentioned before, location, expression, homology, pathways, and cross-ref on, on, the on the top. And I'm gonna select uh, homology. What this does is uh, display a, com a comparative uh, gene tree, just like the one that you will see at, um, at uh, the genome browser, except that we offer a few more um, functionalities. Um, uh, so uh, you can see the, uh, the nodes are collapsed and on the right side uh, there is a visualization of the multiple sequence alignment that are color coded by interpro domain. Below the tree are links to change the search criteria or to load the page uh, to, uh, to load the, the to render the same page in the ensemble browser. You can click on a node and uh, on a collapse node in the gene tree, and this is going to expand it. The slider above uh, the multiple sequence alignment view can be used to zoom in by dragging the handles, that is those, the, the two dots at the end, on the end. You can more easily see features such as X and junctions now, and these are uh, sl small red ticks in between. You can also uh, hover over and click over one of these uh, colored uh, interpro domains and uh, more information will be displayed about uh, a particular uh, domain. See, I have uh, zoomed in to this region and I can see uh, larger uh, and large and all the way, if you keep zooming in, you will uh, meet, uh, uh, you will uh, see a level that matches the width of the characters and the multiple sequence alignment view. So you can see uh, lined up the sequences and color coded, which you can also uh, change with this uh, color scheme. You can toggle on the sequence view and choose a color scheme. Um, Okay, uh, you can uh, click the, uh, if you want to see, compare what you can see, you can get in the Ensemble browser, you click on this link and it's going to take a little bit longer uh, because our, uh, the trees there are not uh, preloaded as ours with the Interpro annotations. But the, after a few seconds, the annotation table is going to list Go terms and Interpro domains associated with these genes over here. Um, uh, and the entire gene tree, uh, this is how it looks like in the Ensemble browser. And again, just like in ours, uh, collapsible nodes, um, some annotations. Um, 
Now let's go back. Uh, so that was the homology tab. Uh, I am going to show you what you can expect to see in the location tab. This is the genomic context. It shows the gene structure in a lightweight genome browser and you can follow the link to the Ensemble browser again or in other resources for more, uh, for more details. Uh, on the expression uh, panel view, you can uh, you will be able to see uh, a data coming from the atlas uh, e expression from EBI, and uh, when you mouse over uh, one of these uh, grayed out tissues, uh, it's gonna light up in purple, and the corresponding uh, data here, uh, the tissues in this case style are shown in uh, yellow. They are going to uh, change color, so it's easy for you to identify them in the, in the table. This is all um, it displayed uh, thanks to the, uh, the Atlas widget that ABI provided for us. Um, uh, again, well, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration, uh, a quick video where you can see it, it, this animation uh, shows you how you do with, with, the, bra with the mouse how you, um, we're going to access pathways, we're going to, uh, when we click, now it's, uh, it zooms in the, the pathway um, views and uh, we can, another way to, uh, go to, to get at this same view is by clicking on the link for the, uh, on the plant reactome and we get the exact same view. Um, from the pathway browser, we can also get that expression. Uh, if we click uh, under this tab, we have also used the Atlas uh, widget and you will see that now it is not only one gene, but all of the genes that are uh, involved in this pathway of cystic acid that we have uh, together uh, with expression information in different tissues. If we click on them, we are t being taken to the Expression Atlas uh, website where you'll see, uh, you can see the exact same um, information uh, for baseline expression. And in addition, you will find a differential expression in there that you can project in turn to the Ensemble and Grameen browsers. And this was uh, covered by um, in in a recent uh, webinar uh, that I'm going to uh, show you uh, in a minute. So uh, if you want to know a little more details on how uh, the progress of, of the search was made, uh, we have two uh, video tutorials on site uh, that will tell you a little more of the back end um, and uh, uh, prior details uh, uh, before it got to the, to the current uh, 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 view. And now I'm going to uh, switch gears, jump into the Powys portal for just for a couple of uh, few slides. Um, so the plant reactome also got a, a facelift. Uh, this is, it's now using a new software and uh, it uh, updated to uh, its uh, front page. So uh, there is uh, the data uh, corresponds to uh, 67 plant species. The, uh, the one genome, uh, the one uh, species that is used as reference uh, for curated pathways is Oriza sativa japonica, and for the remaining 66 uh, species, uh, it, the Compara and Imparanoid supercluster ortology uh, were uh, was used to uh, create these projections. Uh, and this was uh, very nicely reviewed uh, by, uh, in a recent webinar uh, last month by uh, Justin Priest, and here is the link. So right now I'm just going to show you quickly uh, some of the images that, uh, that are uh, best described in his live demo. So this, uh, this is the, the, the fireworks uh, display that is uh, new in this, uh, in this uh, latest Reactome 3.3 platform and uh, how you can explore uh, uh, pathways going from um, a general to a more specific uh, category, uh, functional category. Uh, here's an updated pathway. Uh, this is the pathway browser interface. You can see it's uh, uh, 
the changes. Uh, it's clear, it has interactive illustrations of Pathway components, and, uh, and we, as before, you have uh, links cross-referencing uh, uh, external pages uh, of uh, annotations. There is interactors and baseline expression coming from Interact and Atlas, respectively, and users may also upload their own interaction and expression data. The extensions are provided by our collaborators at EBI, and you can see, uh, as I uh, showed this in uh, the animation before, uh, we have the, uh, the Atlas uh, widget also embedded in these pages. Here is uh, a visualization of an overlay of costume data. You can upload your own data and, uh, and or project it over uh, a pathway expression. Oh, uh, over a, uh, a pathway uh, view. Um, and also you can do an, a species comparison by uh, contrasting to our uh, curated rice uh, reference pathways. Um, as for expression data, I will just mention that uh, currently uh, the, um, our, ABI, uh, our, our Atlas collaborators have curated uh, 703 experiments. And the, the data is coming from a baseline as well as differential expression. The one widget that you have seen um, in a couple of my uh, previous slides uh, correspond to baseline expression, while differential expression is available directly on the, on the Atlas uh, Plant website. And uh, from here, you, will, you have links uh, to project it uh, onto our, uh, the Ensemble browsers uh, Algarmin or Ensemble plans. So quickly, here is just review. Uh, this is the view that you get in searchgarmin.org. Uh, this is the same view uh, that you get at ensemblegarmin.org. Um, if this is a, a gene uh, a page, so on the left menu bar you have the gene expression link, and you can uh, you have the choices. The top choice is for the whole plant, and the lower uh, icon is for uh, seeds. Uh, for yeah, for seeds. So that's what you are looking at here. Um, it's a carpel, um, and you can also see visualize this same uh, data from uh, from the from within the plant reactant website. Um, and uh, this was recently reviewed in another of our uh, YouTube tutorials. Now I'm going to proceed to uh, uh, go to, uh, briefly through our genomes portal. And as you may know, we currently have uh, 44 uh, plant species uh, in our genome databases. So this means uh, there is a complete reference uh, assembly for each one of them. Um, new within the last year are these five, and updated assemblies uh, are for the bread wheat, for the maize uh, B73, and one uh, a new one coming up in this uh, release uh, uh, to happen in the within the next uh, week or so is sorghum. Um, okay, so uh, just to remind you, uh, the Ensemble browser is a collaboration between Ensemble uh, uh, plants, uh, Ensemble plants, and Gamin. So we share. You can see very similar um, interfaces. And our 44 species, this is a nice table uh, which summarizes uh, the type of data that we have for each, each of these uh, genomes. The variation database, regulation, whole genome alignments, other kinds of alignments, peptide compara, and pan taxonomy compara. Um, again, uh, what uh, the, that, uh, again, here is, here is in a listed, uh, in a list format. Uh, the type of data that you, you find for uh, your genomes and gene annotation, assembly structure, genes, expression, uh, comparative alignments, genetic markers, variation, ontologies, uh, interpret domain, epigenetic marks, and synteny. And we have reviewed these uh, in a previous uh, YouTube webinar, so I'm not going to spend more time. Um, similar uh, for the uh, our comparative phylogenomic um, data, we provide whole genome alignments as well as uh, gene trees. And uh, these were uh, nicely reviewed by uh, our colleague, uh, Dr. Joshua Stein, uh, in a 
in our webinar last uh, year. Um, uh, again, in in one uh, in one previous webinar, we had uh, we have shown this uh, how to navigate to the uh, genome browsers. But I here quickly will just show you um, a few slides on, on what to, what you can expect to see. So you can see on the first tab, uh, this is the species uh, 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 web page. And if you go farther and select the next tab, you will be uh, seeing the. Uh, uh, the genomic context for uh, the particular, uh, for what you're, you're choosing. You keep going, you and uh, you have you get to a gene page, and you can select. Um, if you if you have noticed, the menus on the left uh, change for each one of these tabs, so you can select uh, various uh, types of annotations like gene trees, like uh, interpret domains, phenotype, variations, etc. You get uh, you get to transcript um, again. You can you you can have different views, and a particular a specific variation. Uh, you can o you also have uh, options like uh, the uh, genotype frequencies or uh, the individual sample genotypes, uh, uh, etc. And uh, these were uh, again uh, reviewed in a in a past webinar. Um, Another functionality about uh, these, uh, the Ensemble browser is uh, the ability to configure uh, the views that you see. And this is uh, relevant because it's going to be the introduction to the uh, track hubs that I'll uh, briefly touch on. So uh, for configuring, you have, uh, we have uh, an instruction, configure, uh, with this uh, little icon. And you can see that icon in individual uh, images. So whenever you click uh, on configure, uh, you will have uh, a menu, usually a pop-up menu, and you will have options to, um, to change the parameters that you're seeing. Um, uh, if you remember, uh, in the new search homepage, uh, we have this uh, new item, relatively new item, uh, a track hub registry, and we will be providing a, uh, a webinar soon uh, on track hubs, but uh, briefly, I just wanted to show you how. Um, remember, we were in this uh, location view, and and, I sh uh, and we have this option to configure. Well, now we're going to click on that option of the and the location view, and we will um, from this uh, p uh, pop up uh, window, we are going to go to the personal data tab, and. That is going to show us the uh, link to the track hub uh, registry, uh, and you, you're, where you'll be able to search directly. Or uh, if you click on this uh, link, uh, we will provide you uh, with uh, the number of track hubs for that particular species, and you can, you'll be able then to browse. So uh, wait, uh, stay tuned for our uh, upcoming uh, video tutorial on track hubs in Grameen. Um, another functionality uh, that uh, it's made possible through the Ensemble browser is like anything that you see in the browser, be it an image or be it text, uh, or com uh, text uh, the, the source text for an image, you uh, are going to be able to export. So you download as a, a graphic format or in text. Um, adding costume tracks of your own uh, customized uh, costume data. Uh, here are a few examples, but again, this was previously reviewed, so I'm not going to touch in uh, more detail. Um, uh, this is uh, for uh, Synteny to browse uh, homeologous regions from, you know, and um, conserve uh, ancient polyploidy. Uh, we have some examples, and what this was recently reviewed um, early in this year uh, by Sharon Way, and uh, the type of uh, Information you can get is uh, you can see oh, you can see uh, when there is uh, uh, actually let me show you here there are regions that are going to uh, be fine because there was a duplication in maize uh, you will see um, you can see uh, the same region in two in two uh, uh, in two uh, areas. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not explaining this carefully. But you can see uh, one of the rice genes, for example, uh, maps to two different locations, two different genes in the, in the maze browser. Um, 
for variation, uh, we also have a, a review, a video tutorial. It is not as recent, uh, but uh, in general, this is the type of uh, information you can expect to see. There is genetic uh, SNP variants or in uh, short indels, and there is structural variants, which are uh, more massive. Um, there is also, we have not only natural variation, but also uh, mutagenesis uh, induced um, single, uh, single mutants. Uh, we had a sorghum uh, in the past, and wheat is coming up in this new uh, upcoming release. Uh, now, uh, just a couple of views of, of how, what you can expect from uh, the variation data. You can identify uh, variants in, with, in the context of uh, interprodomains. You can see the variants up here in the top uh, line. They are color coded by their functionality. You can also, uh, in the pages, uh, see an alignment of uh, a species alignment to see whether uh, any particular uh, variant is conserved in two species uh, of interest. Uh, you can do, uh, again, explore uh, the frequencies, allele and uh, population frequencies for a particular variant and so, so on. Uh, analysis tools uh, you have we have uh, they are accessible from this uh, tools uh, link on the top of every um, um, ensemble browser page and uh, this takes you to this uh, uh, URL here on the left are listed uh, uh, common tools and again these are uh, we have uh, to be the tutorials for each one of these um, tools um, in the bottom uh, similar for the Biomart, here is only one example uh, of uh, customized query to mine the database of, in this case, uh, tomato uh, genes. And uh, yeah, well, it's a combination of variations and uh, interprodomains in uh, in gene in the gene structure. So, for more on this, uh, you can uh, watch this uh, YouTube uh, webinar. Um, and there is from our FTP site, uh, we have uh, you know access to both uh, Gramin and the Sambo. And other uh, community-specific tutorials uh, we have made available for uh, communities like maize, rice, Arabidopsis, tomato, and grape. And also uh, for the uh, community of bioinformaticists, uh, which prefer a programmatic access uh, to the data that is uh, hosted in our uh, databases. Um, now, uh, ways to easily reach us, you can email, email us at feedback at uh, You can fill out our contact form uh, from, uh, there, is, there are links on every web page. You can uh, look at uh, our, uh, our, B, our tutorials in the YouTube channel or check out our news blog from the uh, front page. Uh, join our announcement mailing list or follow us in um, Twitter, uh, like us in Facebook. Here is the people that uh, made this, uh, all this work possible and uh, who I am very thankful and uh, feel uh, honored to be working next year.